Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Reading the Red this Wednesday morning. Dark Wednesday morning, but it's dry. Matthew chapter 15, verse 5. Jesus having brought a challenge to them with regards to them justifying why they don't keep the law of God brings clarification on his declaration to them and says in verse 5, but you say, whoever says to his father or mother, whatever I have would help you has been given to God. So he stops in mid-sentence. Whatever I have has been given to God. So he says, so you justify, is what he's saying, not doing what is right because you say it's been given to God, so therefore you can't have it. And that sense of legalistic practice, uh, we can't do this because, or we can't do that because, it's a, it's a binding thing, it's not a releasing thing. What we need to realise is the reason why God has given to us the law is in order for us to stay between the lines, to benefit our lives, to enrich the earth, to do good things. And that reality of staying within the lines had become so entangled and entwined with foolishness that it was proven to be less beneficial because all of the subsidiary laws that were put in place that were making it difficult for people to be everything God wanted them to be. So if Jesus is saying to them, if you've got something good, something that's going to be useful to someone else, but you say, you can't have that because it's been given to God. It's like being pedantic in spiritual terms. What God wants is for us to be liberated and not to be bound, to be, as it were, free to be able to express all of the good things that need to be expressed. So in mid-sentence, Jesus is setting up this scenario because he's building up to a point. So he says, you say, whatever is for God can't be given for good. I wonder what do you think about that statement? Is it right to say, feed the poor on a Sunday or a Sabbath day? Of course it is. Is it right to do good on a Sabbath day? Of course it is. To go and rescue your donkey or your, your sheep down a hole? Of course it is. God is not so like nitpicking our lives and saying, oh, you're going off track a bit there. You're going off track a bit there. No, you can't do that. God isn't like that. God is a, is, is a liberator. He's liberated. He doesn't want us to work outside of his will but when these subsidiary laws, in effect, are put in place, they often make it difficult for us to express God's love to other people because we like intimidate ourselves. I remember once when I was fasting and I thought, the Bible says you can't tell anyone that you're fasting. So I never told anyone. And then I went, it just so happened it was on a Sunday and we was in church and they just so happened to be having a big tea party that afternoon. And we was invited and we went and they said, Paul, you're not eating. And I said, oh no, I'm not hungry. And then as I said, I'm not hungry because I didn't want to tell them that I was fasting. I realised I just told a lie. And the whole thing was, is a farce. No, literally, it was a farce. But the point being is that we build these little kind of sillinesses around our lives. And we need to allow God to deliver us from the silliness of life. If something is right, it's right. If something is wrong, it's wrong. Do the right thing, not the wrong thing. And then you'll be doing the God thing. Have a great day.